Absolutely pissed. There's something that you like uh, today, like uh, the music. I, I mean, I don't listen to new, new music anymore, to be honest. I've got too much music to listen yeah. to. I, I've got thousands of albums, mm. and I don't need any more. I just don't need any more. And I'm... I try and listen to new music. It's, it's very difficult. Sometimes uh, my kids will be listening to music, and, and I will like that, you know? I, I got into jazz as You're well. Okay, and I, I, I hated jazz. When I was younger, I, 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 I did not get jazz at okay. all. And I used to think, well, could those guys play that twice the same? And I realised that yeah, that's not what it's about, you know what I mean? And jazz is like um, something that I'm really into. Uh, you know? But it took a long time, you yeah, know? It's a long journey. Yeah. What about the rap? Rap. The rap. I like some rap music. Some? My, my daughter's really into rap music, yeah. so I hear a lot of that in the car. Yeah. Uh, she's into sort of like London rap music, like grime and all of that. I, I, I mean, I don't really know much about it, but I hear a lot of it. I liked a lot of rap in the 80s. Mm. We, we got quite, well, I got quite into rap in about mid 80s and stuff like that. Like things like NWA and all of that. Right. And, uh, uh, I'm a bit about... square, I suppose. I kind of like rap that with uh, melodies, like, uh, like De La Soul. I'm not really into shouting. People I like shouting, the energy yeah. though, I mean, and the anger with it. I remember like uh, NWA, like when, you know, they, they, they do the chart rundown in, in Britain where they, 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 they you know, they, they play all of the new entries and the highest new entries and stuff. And it was like, a, was that 100 miles and running? Is that the, the song? Anyway, it, it was the new, it was the highest new entry in the charts. And, 
they couldn't play it because you know every, every second word's motherfucker or something yeah, like okay. that. And so and it was just like brilliant. It was like you know something sort of like you know gate crashing a party or something like that. You know, and I, I love it when things like that happen. Something you know gets into the pop charts when it doesn't belong there. Mm. But the energy and that, that, that music, I think, was great. It was like punk in a lot of ways, I think. You know, because of you, yesterday night I listened, after Psycho Candy, I listened to The Velvet Underground, but I had never listened in my life. Yeah. You know, you can have a, mu a whole musician life and skip so many things. They, I had never do, been play, playing. You, you've, got to, you've, got, you've got to play everything by The Velvet Underground. Now, Velvet Underground were one of the most influential bands ever. Everybody, everybody's into The Velvet Underground, and it's like, what's that old thing about... Uh, Brian Eno said, it's like the Lou said to Brian Eno something about we only sold something like 5,000 albums. And he said, yeah, but everybody that bought one of those albums started a band. Mm. And that's true. They're that's just, what you did also. They're so fucking influential. That's what your band well, did also. No? Thank you. Oh,
I've got not. I've got a T-shirt of that. Look, suicide. Yeah. <laughs> also got that on a T-shirt. One of the best records ever made. That. Right. Seven, uh, Seventy-seven. Yeah. Well, it yeah. shows you don't. That record shows that you don't need guitars to make great rock and roll. Yeah. Didn't they use some made ones? Didn't they? What's his um, name? Martin, uh, Ray, Martin Ray. How did you come to, um, to, you know, to do this, to this, to do noise, to enjoy noise? How did it? Um, because did it, it was just something that we were interested in music and yeah. another great record. Yeah, this I knew. This I one knew does have guitars. What's in it that you like? Oh, that, well, that, that was a huge, the Wall of Noise record. Mm -hmm. When we were making Psycho Candy. That's what we were listening to at the time. Okay. I guess we thought maybe we could try and get some of that sound by using guitars. Uh -huh. So what did, it, what did it change for you, this first record? What did it change? Well, I mean, they, they, they did this, this album here. It's all covers. It's like yeah. a covers of 60s, 70s songs. And just the way they did them was just so kind of, I don't know, just like over the top extreme garage music, if you know. And it just like the sound of it, just so primitive. Fantastic. Ground control to major tone. No, I'm glad because like uh, there's a whole uh, spectrum of music that I discovered with you, you know? All right. So that's good. <laughs> it's a good well, enjoy the Velvet Underground. Man. Yeah, I will. I mean, they, you can't go wrong with the Velvet Underground. They're all great. Okay. All, all of the albums are great. All right. Hey, merci. Good merci. to see you, Crystal. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I 